Live from the MVG Production Studios, it's everyone's favorite game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Tic Tac Doe. And now, your host, Tic Tac Doe, the master of the X's and O's, Brendan Sprug. Yo! Thank you all so much. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and hello once again, and welcome in to another edition of Tic Tac Doe right here on MVG Productions. Glad you could join us here once again. Well, we have, again, a champion who has been on quite a run here on the show. He's back to try to take on another challenger today and see if he can continue to add to his winnings. So with that said, let's introduce our contestants. Our challenger comes to us from Inkster, Michigan. He's a musician by trade. Meet Lawrence McNeil. And our returning champion, He's a truck driver from Cincinnati, Ohio, whose cash winnings total $264,750. Meet Kevin Henry. Gentlemen, welcome to Tic Tac Doe. Hello. Hey, Brandon. Good to see you both here. Kevin, back with us again. With, an, again, an impressive run here. I believe you've now defeated uh, nine opponents, I think, so far on your run here as champion. By my count, that's correct. And, again, over $264,000 in cash so far won for you. Have you thought what you're going to do with any of your winnings so far yet? I would love a new car. Nothing too crazy. You've seen the kind of cars I drive. I'm not that picky. Mm-hmm. So that's probably that probably be my infer- be my first investment. Ah, I understand. Nice responsible set of wheels to hopefully get you around, and get you where you need to go. That's it. All right. Well, hopefully get you that, and maybe something else nice to go with it. Maybe a nice chrome job or something on it. Who knows? But well, we'll- I, I actually do have to uh, get stock. I'll have to get stocked up on my new favorite soda too. There it is. It is very true. All right. Well, welcome back. Good luck to you. And Lawrence, welcome back to Tic Tac Doe, sir. Hello, Scarzy. And to have you back here, sir, from Eastern Michigan, a musician and um, YouTuber as myself are. What? I forgot. What instruments do you play again? I just play the guitar for right now, hopefully to transition to bass eventually and just improve on my vocals. So this is guitar for right now. Okay. And what's what's your favorite song to play on guitar? Uh, currently, it's Living on a Prayer by Bon Jovi. Wow, oh, good song, good song. I think a friend of mine who does an amazing job of that at karaoke when he, when he gets to sing it. But I said, wonderful song. T- pretty fun on the guitar. I can see why this plays. So we'll see if some of that music knowledge of yours comes in handy today here as we play our game. Wish you both the best of luck. Let's jump to it and play some tic-tac-toe, shall we? Mm-hmm. Why not? All right. The name of the game is quite simple, fellas. To get three X's or three O's in a row, either across, up and down, or diagonally on our board, wins the round, all the cash in the pot, and you'll t- go on to the bonus round to take on my pet dragon, Fluffy, for a chance at possibly up to $100,000 in cash. So always pick a box, I'll ask you a question, get it right, we put an X or O on the board. Outside boxes, of course, are worth $250 a piece. Center box, a little bit harder, it's a two-part question, you'll get some extra time to think about it, and it's worth $500, okay? So with that said, let's wish you both best of luck, and let's get right to our categories we're going to be using for today's game. They are the following. We have mythology, auction, potpourri, literature, medicine and health, opponent's choice, animals, a secret category, and finally, sports. Of course, our red categories are our special categories. We'll talk about those as they come up during our game. And with that said, we always start with our champion. And Kevin, that's you. You get the first selection. Where do we begin? Let's go to the southeast corner sports. I kind of had a sneaking suspicion when it came up in the uh, category draw that that would be your first pick no matter where it was on the board. So... Oh, Kevin likes some sports now. You know that. That is true. All right, here's your question under sports, sir. The third right. round of the PGA tournaments usually take place on what day of the week? Again, the third round of the PGA tournaments usually take place on what day of the week? For the box, name it. Um, Saturday. Saturday is the correct answer. Very good. Put next on the board there. 
Yeah, I have $250 in the pot, and we shuffle. All right, Lawrence, you're up. Where to? Okay, let's go. Uh, let's go with... Let's go with myth mythology. Mythology, all right. Mythology, top left-hand corner. Questions about mythology and uh, ancient... Um, as to there. Here's a question for you, sir. A Corgio, a Corgio painting features what Roman god with the priestess Io? Again, a Corgio painting features the Roman, uh, what Roman god with the priestess Io? For the box, name this Roman god. Hmm. Oh gosh. Uh, Zeus. I don't know. Uh, no get. No good guess there, but it was not Zeus. It was the god Jupiter. The god Jupiter yeah, himself okay. there is what we're looking for. All right, so no box there. We remain with $250 in the pot, and we shuffle once again. Kevin, we're back to you. Uh, let's try sports again. All right. Second time in the category for sports for Kevin. Here comes your question. All right, Kevin, what is the term called for getting three strikes in a row in bowling. Again, what, what was that? A turkey. Turkey is correct. But next on the board again, $500 now in the pot. What's happened as we shuffle? I know what I just did, and I apologize. That's all right. No worries there. Um, Lawrence, over to you. <clears throat> potpourri for the block. All right, going on potpourri for the block. You need this now for a vertical block of Kevin. Question under potpourri is this, sir. All right, Lawrence, what was the first state in the U.S. to ratify the Constitution? And what was the first state in the U.S. to ratify the Constitution? Was it Delaware, Maryland, or Virginia? I'm stuck between two, but let's go with uh, Maryland. No, I'm sorry. It was not Maryland. It was Delaware. It was Dang it. Delaware is the one we were looking for there. So can't give you that but Give you that box, so we remain with five hundred dollars in the pot. See what happens as we shuffle. Kevin, over to you. I want to try the auction category. All right, going with the auction category. All right, auction category. Of course, one of our special red categories. This box can go to either player. I'm going to give you a subject that's going to have ten answers to it. You're going to bid back and forth of how many of those ten answers you think you're going to be able to give me, and then whoever has the highest bid will have to give me that correct many answers in order to win the box. Otherwise, your opponent can steal the box with any answer that was not given to on the list. So, with that said, your category for, the, for this uh, auction category is candy bars. Candy bars. The, I have a list of 10 popular candy bars here. How many of them can you name? And, Kevin, since you picked the box, you will get the first bid. I'll start conservative and say two. All right. He says two. Lawrence, can you do better than two? Three. Um, uh, three, I think, guess. All right. His bid is now three. Kevin, can you do better than three? Four. It says four. Lawrence, can you do better than four? Have at it, Kevin. All right. He says you can have it, Kevin. If you give me four of the ten candy bars on this list, you get the box. Uh, let's go with the obvious, the Hershey bar. Hershey bar is on the list. That's one. You need three more. Snickers. Snickers is on the list. That's two. Milky Way. Milky Way is on the list. That's three. One more, and you have the box. Um, I'll go with my personal favorite, Three Musketeers. And it's on the list as well. You get the box. There we go. X on the board there. Um, the rest of the list, we had the Take 5 bar. We had an Almond Joy, Kit Kat, Twix, Baby Ruth, and Mounds. I forgot the about rest Mounds. Of the, the only disappointment is the fact that Reese's Cup was not on there. I'm kind of sad about that because that's my personal favorite. But nonetheless, I don't make the list. They are made by an independent um, company for those. So... Kevin gets that box. We have three X's on the board, $750 in the pot. Let's see what happens as we shuffle. And Lawrence, it's your selection. And also for the block. 
All right, going with animals, top right corner, you get this question right, you will have a block of Kevin. The dwarf, the lopped eared, lop eared, and mini rex are popular types of this pet. Again, the dwarfed, lop eared, and mini rex are popular types of this pet. For the block, name it. Uh, gosh. Gremlin? I don't know. No, I'm sorry. It's not a gremlin. Although, personally, I would never want a gremlin as a pet because of the havoc that it can cause. The correct answer there on that one was a rabbit. Those were all types uh, of rabbits. That's what we're looking for. Okay. So, can't give you that one there. So, we remain with $750 in the pot, and we shuffle once again. All right, Kevin, over to you. Oh. Neither are my strong suits. Let's try the secret category. All right, going with the secret category in the lower left-hand corner. Again, a secret category question. Get this one correct, sir. We will double all the cash in the pot to $1,500. Here is your question. Lust for Life was a hit single and album for which rock star? Again, Lust for Life was a hit single and album for which rock star? Is it Johnny Rotten, Joe Strummer, or Iggy Pop? When in doubt, Charlie out. Iggy Pop. And that is the correct answer. You double the pot. <clears throat> Another X on the board there. $1,500 now in the pot there. Let's see what happens as we shuffle. Lawrence, where are we going to go? Oh, boy. One of many ways I could go. <laughs> uh, gosh. Let's go... Eh, let's go with animals again. All right. Going with animals. Center box there. A two-part question on this one. Of course, you'll get some extra time. To think about it. Here's your two part question under animals. First, sir, the Italian type of this fast dog breed is a toy dog. Again, the Italian type of this fast dog breed is a toy dog. What kind of dog is it? That's the first one. Your second one is this part of a shark is an S shaped two chambered tube. Again, this part of a shark is an S shaped two chambered tube. What part is it? Is it the heart, the stomach, or the liver? Those are your two questions. Take some time to think about it. Mm. All right, Lawrence, which part would you like to answer first? Uh, let's answer the second one. All right, second one. This part of a shark is an S-shaped two-chambered tube. What part is it? Is it the heart, the stomach, or the liver? Let's go with the heart. The heart is the correct answer. Now, for the center box and five hundred dollars, this Italian type the Italian type of this fast dog breed is a toy dog. For the box, name the dog breed. Uh toy dog. Um <laughs> yeah. I honestly have no guess. I'm trying to creep blank with that one. Uh, I'm not good. Uh, that's time. The dog breeding question was a greyhound. Greyhound. Dog. Oh, it. The clue there being the fast dog breed there. So, can't give you that one there. So, we were once again remain with $1,500 in the pot. Let's see what happens as we shuffle. All right, Kevin, over to you. Auction for the win. All right, going with the auction category down at the bottom. All right, if you get this question correct. It'll be tic tac doe, $1,750, and you're going to be headed back to the bonus round. But, Lawrence, you can jump in here and steal this one if you can get a block here. Your subject for this auction category is classic board games. Classic board games. We have a, I have a list of 10 classic board games here on my list here. How many of them can you name? Kevin, you pick the category, so we begin the bidding with you. How many classic board games can you name? Uh, let's try three. All right. Bid's three. Lawrence, can you do better than three? Five. Five. Let me see if I can do five. Can you do better than five, Kevin? Name them. All right. Lawrence, it's on you. You need this one to get in the game and have a block here. 
Names of five classic board games. Begin. Oh, boy. Uh, Monopoly. Monopoly's on the list. That's one. Shoots and Ladders. Shoots and Ladders is on the list. That's two. Uh, gosh. Um, Trivial Pursuit. Trivial Pursuit is on the list. That's three. Two more. <laughs> oh, God. Um, uh, geez, um, Need an answer? Scrabble? Say Scrabble is on the list. That's four. One more. Oh. Uh, mm, life? Life is on the list. You got it for the block. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Well done. The other ones Ooh. not mentioned, Clue, Scategories, Candyland, Taboo, and Risk. The other ones on the list there. So, well done, Lawrence. You saved yourself in the game. Put an O on the board there. We now have $1,750 in the pot. Let's see what happens as we now shuffle the board. Lawrence, we're over to you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm still in a conundrum here. Let's go with literature. All right, literature in the center. Get this question, uh, two-part question here under literature. Of course, you'll have some extra time to think about it. Question under literature. First one is this, Lawrence. A five-line poem that shares its name with the county on Ireland's west coast is called what? Again, a five-line poem that shares its name with a county on Ireland's west coast. What is that poem called? That's the first one. The second one is, this character appears in four of Thomas Harris's books, and his name is in two of the titles. Name the character. Those are your two questions. Take some time to think about them. All right, once again, Lawrence, which one would you like to answer first? Let's try the uh, first, the, the second one. Second one, okay. This character appears in four of Thomas Harris's books, and his name is in two of the titles. For the box, name the character. Uh, um, Hannibal. Hannibal is correct. Now, for the... For the center box and $500, a five-line poem that shares its name with this county on Ireland's west coast. For the box, name the county. Uh, jeez, um, I do not know. I'm sorry. Okay. Yes. Oh, tough break on that one. A correct answer on that one was a limerick. A limerick is what Dang we're it. looking for. Okay. All right, All right. So can't give you that one, Lawrence. So we remain with 1750 in the pot. And it looks like we're at a commercial break, folks. So we're going to pause the call, take a short break, come back, see when you're going to take that go. Right after this, stay with us. Welcome back to Tic Tac Go. Good battle going on between Kevin and Lawrence right now. We have $1,750 in the pot, and we'll see what happens now as we shuffle the categories. All right, Kevin, we're over to you. Make a selection. Sports for the win. And get this question correct. Under sports, it will be Tic Tac Go $2,000, and you'll be headed back to the bonus round. Here comes your question. In 2011, Kev Kevin, Cam Newton was picked number one by this NFL team. Again, 2011, Cam Newton was picked number one by this NFL team. For Tic-Tac-Doe and $2,000, name them. That would be your Carolina Panthers. And that is Tic-Tac-Doe. <laughs> well done, sir. Congratulations there. Another 2000 for you, and you're going to be playing the bonus round here in just a minute. Lawrence? 
I uh, can't say much other than, like I said, you, you genuinely gave it a good effort there, but like I said, just got stumped up on like one or two questions that really kept you off the board for a good portion of it. Yeah. Yeah, and Kevin, and Kevin was a pretty worthy, worthy opponent, but uh, I please say you having me on, and Kevin, to GG to you, sir. Thank you. Well, you're not leaving here empty-handed, sir. You've got one O on the board, so we'll give you $100 for that. And if Kevin is able to successfully win the bonus round, you're going to get a chance to find Fluffy for a chance to possibly pick up another 5000 in MVG bucks. All right, so stick, stick around. As they say, Kevin, for you, that's another $2,000 added to your win, sir. Gives you a grand total now of $266,750. And we're going to see what kind of damage you can do as you take on Fluffy in our bonus round. Come on over. All right, Kevin, welcome back to Bonus Land, sir. Your chance to, of course, win a lot of money here. As you know, up on the nine, on the board, we have our nine numbers up there with cash amounts behind some of them. We have a tick, we have a tag, and, of course, we have my beloved pet dragon, Fluffy. Hi, right, Fluffy. Anyway, of course, as you know, your objective is to get to $1,000 or find the tick in the tag. And if you can do that, you're going to win yourself $50,000. However, Alrighty. If you can find Ticket Tack on your first two picks, we double that jackpot and you walk away with the top prize of $100,000. And of course, if you have a fear of the dragon at any point in time, you could stop and take the money you've won. But should you run into Fluffy, you walk away with absolutely nothing except the $2,000 you won in the main game. Okay? All right. So with that said, wish you best of luck. Fluffy, go hide. There we go. Numbers are shuffled around. Get some help from the audience if you like, or pick them all yourself. It's up to you. Good luck. Well, it's been a winning strategy so far. Let's go with four. All right. Starts with number four. Let's see what's got behind four. Four hundred dollars. Seems apropos at this point. It does. All right. Four hundred dollars, sir. Take that money or go on. I think I'm more of a regular at the at Bonus Island, like Norm was at Cheers. But <laughs> I'll continue on. Okay. Uh, I had to crack a little joke there. Uh, let's go with three. Can't be there every time. All right. Surely, God, Fluffy would not be still hiding in the tree. Let's hope not. Number three, what do we have? 500 more. All right. That's $900. Find a cash amount, Kevin. You've won the bonus round. All right. Um, uh, One. I'm going to go for it behind one. Anything but a dragon or a ticket attack. we got a winner. Hind one, what do we have? Two fifties a winner. Yes. Congratulations, sir. That is fifty thousand dollars in cash. And when we add in your previous winnings, you now have a grand total here on Tic Tac Doe after ten wins now. A grand total of three hundred and sixteen thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars. Not bad. Well played for you. And now, Lawrence, here's your check to pick, take home some MVG bonus cash here. Um, six numbers left up on the board. One of them's got my dragon behind it. Find it. It's worth 5000 for you. Oh, boy. Let's go with number six. Number six. Hopefully the dragon is there for 5000 Is he behind six? Reveal the board. He is. There we go. Hey. Nicely done, sir. 5000 for you. Hey. There we go. That's a little 5000 bonus cash for your MVG bank account there. So enjoy that, sir. Thank you. All right. And Kevin, with $316,750, you're going to meet another opponent. So why don't you head back over to your opponent, and let's go ahead and meet him. <laughs> Our next contestant for Kevin, he's a Funko Pop collector from Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Please welcome in Neil Sternitsky. Neil, welcome to the show. Hey, Brandon. It's been a while, hasn't it? Yes, it has been quite a while since we've had you here, but glad to have you back aboard here with us. Um, uh, from Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, a Funko Pop collector, correct? Yes, and a Hot Wheels collector as well. Really? How about how many cars you have in your collection now? 
No, oh boy. I, it's kind of funny because I keep, I keep saying this. I wish people would stop asking me because I personally don't keep track, but I've been collecting Hot Wheels for going on 12 years now, and I'd say I, if I had to guess, I have easily a couple thousand. Wow, that's a massive collection. That, that'd be something I definitely want to see in pictures at some point in time, just, just to kind of gaze at it all. So that'd be yeah. fun. Well, at some point, you should you should actually take some consideration and try to um, count count them all, see how many you actually have. That way, you have a an accurate answer for someone next time they ask. But that's a good idea. Unless... Brandon, if you'll permit me, I'd like to ask him a question myself about that. Sure. Uh, are any of those in mint condition? I I actually open mine and I have okay. them all stored in uh, these uh, plastic containers. Okay. Oh, okay. So like the like the the plastic box is sort of like similar to like a tackle box, right? Yeah. Yeah, they the 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 cases I use are primarily marketed as uh thread organizers, you know, for like right. stitching fabrics together. Gotcha. They're 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 made for that. But back in the day, these same containers were marketed as toy car garages, but they had to take them off the market as marketing them as toys because they can crack and break and you know kids can hurt themselves on them gotcha makes perfect sense you gotta i gotta think of the safety of the kids first so well, understandable well best of luck to you sir let's get right to it and let's play some tic-tac-toe shall we yes please let's take a look at the categories we're going to be using for this game of tic-tac-toe and they are the following we have math and science the top 10 food and drink Movies, presidents, the challenge category, awards, secret category, and finally vocabulary. Again, red categories. We'll talk about those when they come up a little bit later on. But for now, Kevin, as our champion, you make the first selection. Well, as a uh, one-time journalist, I guess I, you could say I'm technically freelance now. I'd be remiss if I didn't try vocabulary. All right, vocabulary in the lower right-hand corner. Here comes a vocabulary question for you, sir. Mm -hmm. The entrance hall of a public building or a group with a special interest is called what? Again, the entrance hall of a public building or a group with a special interest is called what? Again, please. I'm sorry. Yes. An, an ent the entrance hall of a public building or a group with a special interest is called what? A lobby. Lobby is correct. Very good. Put an X on the board. Champion strikes first with $250. And now we shuffle. Neil, over to you. All right, let's see. Uh, let me try math and science, please. All right, math and science, right side of the board. Here comes your math and science question. Also called the om omoplate, I think it's pronounced omoplate, O M O P L A T E. This bone has a name for the Latin for the shoulder. Again, also called the omoplate, this bone has a name from the Latin for shoulder. For the box, name it. I'm probably wrong, but rotator? No, I'm sorry, it's not the rotator. <laughs> Correct answer we were looking for there was the scapula. Scapula is what we're looking for. Okay. All right, so no box there. Main $250 in the pot, and we shuffle once again. All right, Kevin, over to you. I would like to try awards in the northwest corner. All right, awards in the upper left-hand corner of the board. Here comes your question under awards. All right, Kevin, the brother, brothers Wynn and William Butler are in this Grammy-winning Canadian indie rock band. Again, brothers Wynn and William Butler are in this Grammy-winning Canadian indie rock band. For the box, name them. Uh... Get your laugh track ready. Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Heart Cup Club Band. No. No. <laughs> no, 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 not that one. They're a little bit more recent than that one. Uh, the band name is Arcade Fire. Arcade Fire. Had a couple, okay. Had a couple big I had hits. no clue. Had a couple big hits a few years back. So, all right. No box there. So, we remain with $250 in the pot. We shuffle again. Neil, we're over to you. Let's see. Um... Let's go with food and drink. All right, going food and drink. Top right-hand corner. Here comes your question. All right, Neil, you'll melt when you find out that queso fundido is merely melted this. 
Again, you'll melt when you find out that queso fundillo is merely melted this. For the box, what is it? Uh, cheese? I would hope that a man from Wisconsin would get a cheese question correct. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> Put a no on the board there. We're up to $500 now, and let's give the board a shuffle. All right, Kevin, we're back to you. As a Packers fan, part owner, and former Wisconsin resident, I was going to come up there and strangle you if you didn't get that one right. <laughs> I would have strangled you. All right. Um, I'll try awards again in the southwest corner. All right. Awards again, lower left hand corner. Didn't work out the first time. Let's see if we could do better than this. Here's your question, sir. Okay. In 2010, this Philadelphia kid won his second straight NBA Finals MVP award. Again, in 2010, this Philadelphia kid won his second straight NBA Finals MVP award. For the box, name the player. Was it Kobe Bryant? It was Kobe. You're right. Put an X on the board there. Up to $750 now in the pot, and we shuffle again. Neil, where are we going? Well, I guess we'll try food and drink for the block. All right, food and drink for the block. Bottom portion of the board, get this correct, you'll have a horizontal block of Kevin. Here's your question. This, this is the essential ingredient of a traditional pesto sauce that's known as this royal herb. It is the essential ingredient of a traditional pesto sauce known as this, the royal herb. For the, bo for the block, name it. Probably wrong. Oregano? No, I'm sorry. It's not oregano. You're very close. We're looking for basil. Basil oh. is what we're looking for there. So can't give you that one there. So we remain with $750 in the pot and a break for Kevin here as we shuffle. Kevin, where to? Let's try it. Awards for the win. All right. If you get this question correct, under awards, it is tic-tac-toe, $1,000, and you're headed back to the bonus round once again. Here is your question under awards. She won the Best Actress Oscar for Cabaret. Her dad won Best Director for Gigi. For Tic Tac Doe won $1,000. Name this actress. Not coming to me. My answer? All right. You might recognize it if you gave it to you there. The correct answer there, Liza Minnelli. Ah, uh, Judy Garland's daughter. Yeah, Liza Minnelli is what we're looking for there. All right, so no box there. We are still at $750, a break for Neil. And looks like we're going to have a break for you folks at home as well. We're going to take a commercial break. Come back to you when you see the Tic Tac Toe. Right after this, stay with us. Back here on Tic Tac Joe, a battle going on here between Kevin and Neil right now. Uh, we have $750 in the pot, and Neil, is your turn after we give the board a shuffle. Where to, Neil? All right, I'm going to make a gutsy move here, secret category. Okay, going with the secret category. Of course, to get this question correct, we will double all the cash in the pot to $1,500. Here comes your secret category question, sir. Shank Smear, that's S-H-A-N-K apostrophe S, Shank Smear is a type of which mode of transportation? Is it a car, a horse, or by foot? Is it a horse? No, I'm sorry, it's not a horse. Shank Smear is another way of traveling by foot. Aww. Traveling by foot there, so I can't. I should know that I do that all the time because I can't drive. Understandably so. All right, mm -hmm. so I can't give you that one. So we remain with seven hundred and fifty dollars in the pot. Let's see what happens as we shuffle the categories. Kevin, over to you. I'll take a stab at secret category. All right, didn't work for Neil. Let's see if it works for you, Kevin. Again, same scenario. Get this question correct. We double the pot to one thousand five hundred dollars. Your secret category question is this. A Luddite, that's L-U-D-D-I-T-E, is someone who is opposed to what? A Luddite is a, 
someone who's opposed to what? Is it A, technological change, B, organized religion, or C, birth control? Well, by process of elimination, I hope it's uh, the change in technology. That is a correct answer. You got it. Put an X on the board there. We have $1,500 in the pot. I think my mother would classify as little because she's not great with technology herself. But As so, was mine. And, but nonetheless, lover dearly. Let's see what happens now as we shovel the board once again. All right, Neil, tough spot for you. Where are we going to go? Uh, all right, math and science. All right, going math and science, left side of the board. Get this question correct. You will have a vertical block of Kevin. Here it, here it is, sir. A mechanical ventilator is more commonly known as an iron what? A mechanical ventilator is more commonly known as an iron what? For the block, name it. Would that be lung? Iron lung is correct. You have a block. Put no on the board there. $1,750 now in the pot. See what happens as we shuffle again. Kevin, over to you. Well, I let off with it, and I'm going to try and close with it. Vocabulary for the win. All right, get this question correct. Under vocabulary, it is tic-tac-doe, $2,000, and you'll be headed back to the bonus round once again. Here it is. Under vocabulary, your question is this, sir. The definition of this is a small boy or a small fried piece of a tater. Again, the definition of this is a small boy or a small fried piece of tater. For tic-tac-toe and $2,000, name it. It's tater tots. And you have tic-tac-toe. Well done. Congratulations, Kevin. That's another $2,000 for you there. And you're headed back to the bonus round once again. And, Neil, valiant effort, sir, on that one. Well, I've been waiting several episodes to crawl out of the bottom of the pile that I got left in. But, you know, watching Kevin go through all these opponents, you know, maybe I should have just stayed there. But, hey, it was a good game, Kevin. You too. A valiant effort by you there. You're not going home empty-handed for this one. You got two O's on the board there. So we're going to give you $200. And again, you'll have a chance to play, see if you can find Fluffy, pick up an additional 5000 here in just a minute. Uh, but first, Kevin, we got some more accounting to do for you, sir. That's another $2,000 added to what you've won. Brings you now up to a very nice total of $318,750. I bet you'd like to try to go after that dragon once again, would you not? I will, and I'd like to ask Janelle to join me. All right, well, she's in the audience there, so bring her on up here, and let's see what you can do as you try to beat the dragon. Come on up. <laughs> All right, Kevin, you know what it is time for here a chance for possibly another hundred thousand dollars here up on our game board you did the first game let's see if you can do it again except twice as hard this time we'll see good luck to you let's shuffle that board fluffy go hide that's scary i saw four boxes with a dragon in it at one point in time during that shuffle that worries me slightly <laughs> nonetheless kevin choices are yours yours alone or not, well, it's up to you. Good what's luck. What's that? Said or not, it's totally up to you. Good luck. Let's go with number four. All right, we'll see what happens. Number four is usual starting spot. Let's see what happens there. Four it is. Ooh, it's attack. Find me a tick, sir. It is worth $100,000. Nine. For $100,000, show me a tick. Oh, no. Come on! My money! <laughs> you stupid dragon. I'm sorry about that, Kevin. We, we, we've had a string of success. You can't win them all. Yeah, unfortunately not in this case. Let's open the rest of the board. See, where uh, where was that tick? Where should he win? Right six. above it, number six. Oof. There. Ah, 
Uh, that, that's heartbreak there, sir. But, hey, can't be too mad at, at it at this point, sir. 300, 318 thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars is what you have and you're still champion so we'll have you back again next time for some more but for now folks that is going to do it for us here thank you once again for watching and continuing to support this series here on the channel remember if you like and want to see more of it check out any of the first three seasons of tic-tac-toe here on the channel or episodes from this season that you may have missed and if you want to subscribe make sure you don't miss out on any future fun game shows games like this click that subscribe button down below and ring the bell that way you never miss out on all the funny games going down here at mvg productions and don't forget to follow us on twitter as well in the meantime between time till the war of x's and o's is waged once again and we try to give away some more money i'm your host brandon scruggs for all of us here at mvg productions thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time for more tic tac toe so long Some of our party contestants will receive Bissell's Double Action Floor Sweeper. It snaps up dirt and litter off of carpets and bare floors, great for quick pickups between vacuumings, furnished by Bissell. 20 Mule Team Borax, natural for cleaning and freshening all the family wash, 20 Mule Team Borax. The Vitamix 3600, a stainless steel 3 minute bread maker and home yogurt factory. The juices without waste, cooks without burning, freezes instant ice cream and offers 800 great recipes, the Vitamix 3600. A supply of Lollipop's Dog Biscuits, the pet treats dogs and cats love, feed your dog lollipops. From Gallery Homes, a book of home improvements, Gallery of Home Brokers. If you're selling or buying a home, you'll find that they do their homework from Gallery of Homes. A five pound Rath Honey Glazed Ham, looks as good on the outside as it tastes on the inside from Rath. And one lucky member of our studio audience will receive a gift certificate for the purchase of any item listed in the world famous Spiegel catalog. Spiegel, with over 50,000 quality items offering value, selection, and savings, Spiegel, Chicago, 60609. This is Star Ferguson speaking for Tic Tac Doe. A Jack Berry and Dan Enright production in association with MVG Productions.